Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Mona Lisa Waligo. The topic that I am going to present tonight is about feasibility study. Feasibility, feasibility study is a technique to examine and assess a startup business to find out if it is techni uh, technically doable, logically within a pro uh, project cost, and adequately profitable. When investing a huge amount of money on a business venture, performing a feasibility study becomes indispensable and must always be done prior to writing a business plan. Feasibility study is carried out to help all those concerned in the business venture in making a judgment and will be valuable to all concerned. It is vital that the study be accomplished with no bias so as to make available honest information upon which a sound conclusion can be prepared. Feasibility study is full of comprehensive data that, in, that envelops the uh, prospective trade, operational, financial, and environmental impact of proposed business in its target market, investors, and the general public. Reasons why you must conduct feasibility study before starting a business. One, a feasibility study uh, will help to determine the profitability of the business venture. And second, feasibility study will help prove to the entrepreneur venture capitalist leaders and investors the existence of the market the liquidity of business venture and the expected return of investment a feasibility study also uh, will help you identify the flows business challenges strengths weaknesses opportunities threats and unforeseen circumstances that might affect the success and sustainability of the business venture. And next is before starting a business, a feasibility study will uh, enable to estimate the financial, human, and technical resources that will be needed to ensure that successful launching of the business. And lastly is feasibility study will help you to determine the most, the amount of capital required to start the business. Types of feasibility study. First is technical feasibility study. Uh, this assessment focuses on the technical resources available to the organization. It helps organizations determine, determine whether the technical resources met, uh, met capability and whether the technical team is capable of Converting the ideas into working system. Next is economic feasibility. This assessment uh, typically involves the cost or benefits analysis of the project, helping organizations determine the viability cost and benefits associated with the project before financial resources is allocated. It also serves as a, an independent project assessment and enhances project credibility, helping decision makers determine the positive economic benefits to the organization that proposed project will provide. And the third one is legal feasibility. This assessment investigates whether any aspect of proposed project conflict with legal requirements. And the other one is uh, operational feasibility. This assessment involves undertaking a study to analyze and determine whether and how will organizations need can be met by completing the project. Next is differ, uh, differentia differences between conducting feasibility study and writing a business plan. Business plan is prepared after feasibility study has been conducted and feasibility 
report is filled with calculations, analysis, and estimated projection of a business opportunity. A feasibility study is all about business idea, availability, while a business plan deals with business growth plan and sustainability. And feasibility study reports reveals the profit uh, potential of a business idea or opportunity to the would-be business owner, while business owner which a uh, business plan helps the entrepreneur, entrepreneur raise the needed startup capital from investors. Next is the conditions that make a business opportunity feasible. Uh, first is real, real demand. The first condition that makes a business opportunity uh, viable is smart in is market demand. Next is good return on investment. The next condition that makes a business opportunity feasible is the ROI. And next is competitive. The third condition that makes a business opportunity feasible is its competitiveness. And me um. Uh, Meet the objectives of the enter, uh, entrepreneur and his team. Lastly, the most important factor that makes a business opportunity worth pursuing in the competence of the would-be business owner and his business management team. And the last one is the competence of the entrepreneur and his team. The most important factor that makes a business opportunity Work pursuing in the competence of the would be business. Next is the management aspect. The management aspect is one of the important aspects in establishing a business. To achieve this, management must be able to plan all activities to become productive and competitive in the industry through human resource, financial ca uh, capability, and new technologies. This includes a study of officers and key personnel, basic uh, consideration in performing organization, form of ownership, organizational chart, and project schedule. It also uh, enumerates the different position, qualification, and its duties and responsibilities. Uh, a business logo Logo is visual representation of everything that startup company stands for. And second is mission. Uh, briefly describe the business uh, primary purpose both for those in the organization and for the public reasons for the business existence. Vision describe the startup business views of the future. Four values, uh, write those values that are important to the business and those that the business will uphold. A business description allows uh, get, getting ideas, plans, and vision down on paper before going any further with the startup business. The business description does not need to be uh, excessively detailed. And also, uh, business objectives is a statement of an attainable time target and measurable target that the startup business wishes to achieve as it grows. Next is uh, an organizational chart is a diagram that uh, visualizes the vertical structure of an organization. It shows the connection 
and relative ranks of its part and position or jobs and also uh, connect it is also concerned with the relationship among tasks and the authority to the task and lastly uh, job description is an ex extensive uh, general and written statement of a definite job in accordance to the result of a job analysis Uh, management aspect policies. First is employment process. Second is employment requirements. And the third one is classification of employments. Classification of empo employments uh, under for the classification of employments are regular or permanent employment. Uh, term or fixed employment, project employment, regional employment, and casual employment. Next is uh, orientation. A job orientation is a process for giving new employees important information about their workplace, equipment, pay, benefits, and other code. Next is personal uh, records. Pertaining to employees of an uh, organization, these records are accumulated factual and comprehensive information related concerned records and details. All information with uh, effect to human resources is the organ, uh, organization are kept in a systematic order. Next is working hours or work schedule. All employees uh, <clears throat> must be rendered uh, eight hours a day. And next is the attendance and punctuality. Attendance and punctuality are vital attributes for our employees. It is important for employees to attend work regularly and to arrive at work on time because failure to do the uh, the term uh, detrimentally affects employees' moral and productivity. Next is absences, tardiness, and sanction and disciplinary action. The purpose of this disciplinary action is to correct behavior and documents issues of an employee. Next is uh, performance appraisal. <clears throat> Performance appraisal is a regular view of an employee's job performance and overall contributes to a company. Next, compensation and benefits. Private employees are covered under the state-run pension fund, the social security system, while uh, public sector employees and military personnel are covered by the government services insurance scheme or GSIES. Next is the <clears throat> promotion, uh, separation uh, from service, from service, uh, resignation, termination, and code of ethics. These are also uh, under the management aspect policies. And the next one is the hygiene and sanitation attire and appearance, arrival, and departure of employees. Proper uh, grooming and professional appearance are important to gain respect in the workplace. The way you look and carry yourself creates an impression on the people you work alongside. Both men and women should take care and look uh, after themselves. Below are listed uh, a few ways to achieve a great workplace look. Next is the project status and timetable, six months to one year schedule of activities and business uh, milestone from planning of the business to start of actual operation to be written in the table form. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
Next is the uh, marketing aspect. Marketing aspect shows the sustainability of the property for uh, profitability development and to define the optimal product in accordance with the project market demand. This process can uh, internalize its business strategy by knowing its distinctive uh, competence from competitors using SWOT analysis. Uh, SWOT analysis means uh, discover and sort out significant, significant internal strength and weaknesses and external opportunities and threats factors face of a business. Uh, <clears throat> Next in marketing aspect is industry profile is an uh, assessment of the profitability of industry. Next is demand and supply analysis, sample size determination such as demand analysis, demand uh, side gaps, supply analysis and supply side gaps target market, SWOT analysis, and competitive advantage. Next is direct and uh, indirect uh, comp competitors. And therefore, direct uh, competitors uh, offer the same product or services to uh, identical functionality to similar customer base. Next is price, uh, advertise, and merchandise similarity to appeal to the same intended field of customers or demographic. And also use the same strategy in advertising to bring news information of product services to target uh, demographic and also belong to the same industry. And under for uh, indirect Competitors offer somewhat different product and services and also target similar customer base with the goal of satisfying the same need. Next is price study and pricing strategy will help reach the uh, target profit margin. Despite the, uh, these pricing strategies that will help reach the target profit margin when calculating price, make sure to include both uh, fixed and variable expenses and be sure that the price will allow uh, reaching the brick even point within a reasonable amount of time. Also decide uh, whether the price will be lower or higher than the competition and how to accomplish that while maintaining both demand for the product or services and the profit. And <clears throat> and the last one in marketing uh, programs are different strategies to promote the business that will give great influence and advantage advantages there are different strategies to promote the business that will give great influence adva and advantages it is one way to make people aware that business is existing and encourage them to purchase the product that's all sir Thank you. And the uh, continuation of my report will be discussed by Sir Bon Ignatius.